Alright uh, guys, this is, um, if it's free I want it, and I'm here with a little tutorial on what FrostWire is, how to install it, and how to use it safely and effectively. So uh, basically, I, um, FrostWire is a program that lets you, um, share, uh, music, videos, um, programs and they can really think of. It's very similar to LimeWire, which was recently shut down. Um, not really recently, but it was shut down. Um, and so basically I'm going to show you guys how to use it and install it, and how to um, basically have fun with it, use it to its full ability. So first, uh, I'll have a link in the description to um, this, but you're just going to, you can just Google FrostWire. Go to the frostwire.com official website. Make sure that it is the Frostwire website. There are a lot of fakes out there, believe it or not. Alright, you're simply going to go here. You're going to click download now. Pretty straightforward. Um, you're going to come to either one of about four download pages. There's one for Brothersoft, as you can see right here. I'm not going to download it. I already have it. There's several download pages you will go to. Don't worry if your download page doesn't look like this, because like I said, they're completely different every time. There's like four. Uh, I'm gonna go to the same one again. But uh, I've gone to. There's one called Brother Soft. There's one that's called Frost Click. There's one that's called um, like Files Tube or something. Uh, but basically, it's all the same as long as you're on this official website. It looks just like this. It'll say now on Android in the bottom. That's a kind of a big key to know that it's the actual one. Uh, basically, you're just going to download it. You're going to install it. I really can't walk you guys through the install, but um, so I've already done it, and it's it's a little bit of a process. You have to agree to their terms of use and register, but you know it's something you guys haven't done before. Let's move on to the good stuff. Let's move on to the program. Um, for to use this program safely. I really recommend you guys have a security suite because believe it or not there are a lot of viruses and trojans to be found and even some key loggers and worms. If you guys don't know what those are, a key logger is basically something that it can sees what you type and then uh, basically gets all your password, credit cards, stuff like that. That's not what you want. So basically I'm going to show you guys a few tips to hopefully get you guys to use FrostWire successfully. Like I said, you are going to need a security uh, suite. So I recommend uh, you hit Norton, get a 30-day trial. Norton's really quick, but it's not that thorough. But if you want really, um, in, uh, I use Adaware. It's a much, in my opinion, much better program. Takes a little bit longer to scan, but well worth it. And it can get rid of, um, like, like you can see here, hijackers, keyloggers, trojans. It's free, uh, but I believe you have to complete a trial pay offer. But trust me, guys, best. I don't know, 20 bucks for the trial pay offer you've ever spent. Adaware is a great program. I recommend you use it for your whole computer. Okay, now let's go to FrostWire. So, uh, most people, you get uh, audio. So, let's just do, um, let's just do Heartless by uh, Kanye West. Let's just do Heartless, I'm sure it'll come up. It's pretty popular. Uh, as you can see, all of these are coming up. Now, and right now I can already see some of these viruses. Basically, here's what you want to do. You want to look at all these files that are coming up and you want to look at a few things. First of all, you want to look at the bitrate. Okay? If you see one that does not have a bitrate, like this one you see right here, you do not want to download it. It's extremely likely it's a virus. No bitrate equals bad. Bitrate, I'm sorry, not bitrate. No bitrate equals very, very bad. Um, never download anything without a bitrate, because it means it's some sort of bad virus, nasty, you do not want to uh, have. Uh, another thing to look for is, um, see this title? Uh, no one puts a title like that. You just, you just don't. You don't put all the lines, dots, and crap in there. Generally, you'll put the, the song name, the um, the artist, and maybe what kind of group it is, maybe. Um, and here's another thing you want to look for. You want to look for the type of file. These are all MP3 files. MP4A file, 
I gotta be honest, I don't really know what the uh, M4A is, but I'm sure it's, uh, it may be legitimate, but you don't want that anyway. Um, so basically, another thing to look at is the size. Now, the size of the music file, it's gonna be relatively the same for all files. So what I like to do is I kinda like take a look, and if you see a lot of files that are the same, like, uh, 6628, 6627, 6205, 6628, Odds are those are all legitimate files. Okay. Again, one of the biggest things to look out for is this bitrate, guys. You will. There's not very many on this particular song, but no bitrate equals very bad. Look at this. A WAV file. Guaranteed Trojan. Guaranteed Trojan. So basically, um, what you're going to want to do is simply uh, click it. Uh, I'm not going to be downloading it, but you're just going to click download. Uh, this stuff goes very quickly. Um, I'm not gonna lie, they got this uh, turbo charge connection thing right here. Something that you had to usually had to pay for on LimeWire. Uh, it's completely free in here. I'm gonna stop downloading right now. But, um, basically just download it here. And then it'll probably go to your desktop or your downloads folder. Here's something that I want you guys to do though, as soon as you get it. Don't open it. It's very crucial that you do not open it. Um, start playing it, open any folders, anything. So let's just say this is my, uh, this is obviously a legitimate copy. I've gotten this one from Amazon because I had a free song. But, uh, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click it after you have your security suite installed. And you can see right here that I have Adelware and I have Norton. I'm going to scan with Norton real quick. And then I'm also going to scan with Adelware. And it's going to take a little while for it to come up, but um, it will start scanning the file. It shouldn't take it shouldn't take that long. But uh, while we're waiting, I'll uh, I'll give you some more uh, info on Frostwire. Frostwire, it's a very um, there's a lot of I mean you can find practically anything on here. Sorry, that computer is a little glitchy. Norton. Norton makes my computer slow, I don't know why, but it scans, it usually scans quicker. Um, they have a nice little chat room here. Uh, I don't know, I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, you want to talk to people, that's none of my business, but that's what you want to do. But basically, it's a pretty good program. I mean, you have videos, I mean, programs like uh, Minecraft, uh, that'd be under Torrent, actually, but uh, mine, craft, people go crazy over that game, I have the game, but, you know, it's alright, some people get all crazy over it, and again, for Minecraft, what I like to do is, uh, or a game, I like to go to the actual website, see how big the file is, and see if it matches up, see if it doesn't match up, odds are it's fake, or not a fake, but a virus, so, um, that's it for that. Uh, here's Adelaide. It's going take a little while. Norton scanner progress. Uh, while it's waiting, I, I'm going to tell you guys right now it's not a virus, but um, this is what you want to do before you open any of your files. Also, uh, this will automatically sync with your iTunes library. So if you go into iTunes right now, I'm not going to because it's going to make my computer run even slower than it is right now. But um, it'll have a separate folder for your Frostwire stuff. It'll it links automatically to your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, etc. So, uh, I mean, really, you got... It's all set to go as soon as you download. Which is relatively nice, in my opinion. Because you just sync it up. I mean, there's no if, ands, or buts. I mean, you're good to go. Um, there's Norton right there. No virus securities were found. Like I said, Norton goes a little bit faster, but Adaware is much more thorough. Um... And basically, as soon as Adelware is done, or uh, if it finishes, it may not. Like I said, it takes a little while, but well worth it. Um, so that's about it for Frostwire, guys. Uh, I hope you use these tips to stay safe, and uh, there's a lot of bad things out there. If you do, for some odd reason, get a uh, Trojan or something on your computer, like I said, Adelware is probably the best free software you're going to get to get rid of it. Um, 
and it, it does it pretty quickly and painlessly. You just gotta scan it, leave your system on overnight. If you do get infected, though, I recommend not touching your system until your security thing is gone fully through and says it's alright too because those things are nasty and they can find your personal information, credit cards, all that stuff. So just be safe out there. Um, my next video is going to be on a little program called uh, Team Viewer. I'm not sure if you guys have heard about it, but um, I'm definitely going to uh, do a little bit on Team Viewer. I think it's a, another cool program. But uh, anyway, I thought this would have been done by now. But um, anyway, I think that's about it. I'll just let it uh, just let it chill. I don't think you guys are that interested in anyway. So uh, thanks, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Would really greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Um, thanks, guys. Have a good night.